Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will be continuing our remaining tasks. That is, we will be completing the task service and also test them as a whole. Right. So make sure you have watched the previous videos because those are the backbone of today's videos. Right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So here you can see in the previous video, we have created the following function of creating tasks. Right. So what I'll do, I'll simply copy the function structure and paste it here. Right. So here I'll simply say a new function of fetch tasks. Right. Whatever task we have, we'll be fetching them. Right. So now what I'll do under our fetch task, this task, uh, this function will be giving us all the tasks that are available under our database. Right. So what I'll do, I'll simply create a new constant for data and I'll say await this dot and this operator will be calling all the properties. So here I'll call my task entity and here I'll simply say dot create query builder. Now our create query builder is a function which is available through type ORM. Under this create query, uh, query builder, we have to provide here an alias which will be task. Right. After this, what I'll do, I'll say get many. Easy. I'll simply say uh, create a query builder from the alias of task and give me all the tasks are available. Right. So right now what I can do, I can say if data is not is equal to undefined, if data is defined, what I can do, I can say I can return the entire data. Right. So to do that, I can simply say return status will be true and data will be data itself. Right. But also we will be catching the error. So I'll simply say uh, without uh, doing further things, I'll simply add this thing under a try catch block. Right, so under track edge block, I'll paste the entire thing that we have created so far. And if we get any error, I'll simply send the entire error and a status to be false. So here, let's set status to be false and data to be the error. So this will be our method for fetching all the tasks. Now let's create a method to fetch the archive tasks. Right, because we have created a property. If I go under my task entity, we have created a, a property known as task archived. Right, so what I'll do. Uh, here, uh, let's say a uh, fetch archive task, right? So here we have to do nothing but simply a small configuration under our create query builder. I'll simply say dot where let's say where I'll say the alias name task dot task is archived. So let's copy the exact column name, paste it here is equal to false. Give me all all, all equal to true because we are fetching all the archive task. And here I'll simply say fix all the problems, right? And also add a dot operator to get all of the many tasks, right? So let's quick fix everything. Now this function will be giving us all the tasks where archive is equal to true, right? <coughs> now after this, what I'll do, I'll be creating two methods. First of all, for deleting a task and after that for updating a task, right? So here I'll be creating a function known as delete task. Now to delete a particular task will be requiring here our task ID because if we check here under my task entity, we have got a task ID, which is a unique ID that will be available for all the different rules. Right. So what we have to do, uh, we have to take the particular ID and delete only the ID, right? So here I'll simply say a constant variable of task ID is required for deleting the task. So here I'll simply say task dot parameters and here I'll quick fix everything. So the screen will be more good. Let's fix it here. Cool. So now what I'll do instead of uh, here after this query builder, I'll simply say delete from task entity and here where task dot task ID is equal to task ID that user will be providing. Right. So here I'll say a task ID. And here I'll add a quotation or more for that. Now pay attention to the syntax. Let me clear everything out. So I'll explain you the syntax. So first of all, we are calling a create query builder. After that, we are deleting the data from task entity where task dot task ID is equal to task ID. Right now, this task ID is referring to the dynamic value that we'll be providing. And to refer to dynamic ID, we have to provide this colon. Right after this, we'll execute everything. Now what we can do, we can go at the top and we can copy our then catch phrase, right? So simply copy then catch phrase and paste it after execute, right? So let auto fix everything just like this. Now what we can really do, we can say the delete data will be a delete result, 
right it will be a type of delete result and we can simply remove this block from this side right so i can also say only perform this operation easy so this is how we will be deleting our task we will be taking the id and we will be deleting the entire row where the id is equal to the provided id under the parameters after this let's create one more function for updating the task right so here i'll be creating a new function so here let's call this function update task right so to update task we'll be requiring task id and also task title so let's add task title and task description and task scheduled at because these things are gonna be the things which will be updating right so now what we have to do to update a particular row first of all we have to consider this previous data right because it's not it's possible that user needs to only update description instead of title or schedule that instead of description right so what i'll do i'll go at the top and i'll simply take this uh, query and i'll paste it here under my try block while update task so here what i'll do i'll simply say where task dot task id is equal to the task id and add a colon just like this now here i'll uh, simply say get to one right and hot fix everything now we will be this will be the old task data right so let's name it old task data right so under old task data we have got our entire old data so right now what i'll do i'll simply say a new uh, variable let's say const or let's say let new task title is equal to if the old task title is null is undefined or if task title is equal to some empty value what we can do we can refer to the old task data right so here i'll say old task data dot title else we'll be referring to the new title just like this right have you understood the following query first of all we are saying if a task title is undefined or if it is simply an empty value take a old task title as the new task title right so i can copy the entire data paste it here and paste it two times right so here i'll say a task description right so here i'll simply say the task description if it is null or undefined similarly we can take the task scheduled at new task scheduled at now this will be referring to our task schedule at just like this easy so right now we are simply using our own mind to say if the task schedule or description or data is null we are taking the old data else the new data right so under query builder what we can do i can say create query builder dot update from update values or not update set my bad and while setting data i'll say task title is equal to new task title similarly we can say this for our new description that is task description and task scheduled at right so let's add a description and a scheduled at thing right so after this we will be also requiring the id where this will the task id will be the task id right we are taking it from the body now not parameter right and after this i'll say the data will be update result easy and we'll be sending our entire data back so this will be our update method take a look at it understand it and if you find any problem in this note down under the description box so here i'll simply say the task description is equal to undefined or task schedule is equal to undefined right so this should be working out right so now once we have created all of our data back what we have to do now we have to simply add all the following services under our controller so here i'll simply say under task controller i will be creating bunch of services so first of all the first service will be under get format for fetching task right so here i'll simply say fetch and here i'll say fetch task right after this we'll be also fetching the archive task so let's say get fetch archive right and here i'll say fetch archive task and fetch archive task right after this what we'll do uh, let's copy the following phrase one more time from this side and uh, delete method so here simply say delete 
and delete and here will be required a task id so simply append the following thing with a colon and the task id right and here i'll say delete task and here i'll say a delete task after this we'll be requiring an update task method so here let's say update task and similarly here update task and the path will be update and the method will be put right now here we are adding the following parameter because if we go back here you can see we are taking a task id from the parameters so for that purpose we have to provide task id here as well right so we have defined all of our methods up and ready so now let's test them out so to test them out i can open my postman right let's open our postman and under our postman i can simply fetch all the tasks first so let's open a page task and the port will be 3000 now and press enter right now if i press enter you can see you will be getting all the tasks now these are the tasks that are simply prepared for the testing one right so we have faced the task now let's try deleting the task so to delete the task what we can do we can simply say the user task id now let's delete this task right of field cat for 17 so to delete it we can simply add the following id and add a port of 3000 and delete it right you can see updated is one and set it is true and if you fetch all the tasks back this data should be gone if I send the request, you can see that uh, data is gone. Right now, let's also try to update a study DMS task. So, to do that, go back and here, let's say port of 3000. And here, we have to provide our task title here. So, let's say update a task title or something like that and the ID of 18. Simply send a request. Right, affected is 1. And if we fetch all the tasks, this should be updated. Right, so it is updated and is updated at the bottom. Right, so we have successfully created all the methods. Now let's also test the final method of page archive. Right, so I have to take the proper spelling. Let's go back and it should be null for now because we haven't archived anyone. All right, so yeah, so we have done some mistake here. Yeah, so the name is not correct spelled. So let's copy this task archived and paste it here under a table. Easy. Now we, what we have to do, we have to simply test it out. So let's go back and if I send a request, let's send it again, it should be empty because any task is not archived, right? So let's create a new method here. So here I'll say fetch archive task, right? Now let's create one more method to simply update a task to be archived, right? Which will be here. So to do that, what we have to do, we have to simply copy our update task function. Copy it. And paste it here. So here I'll simply say set archive. Right. So here I'll simply use uh, the task ID under my body. And also one more thing of task is archived parameter. Right. So now what I'll do, I'll simply delete the entire data. We don't require it. Let's fix all your problems. And here I'll simply say task is archive should be the value of the task is archive. Easy. Where the task ID is task ID. Right. So let's quick fix everything and i can go under my task controller and here what you can see i can say set archive right so here i'll say set archive all right let's copy the name paste it here now what we can do we can go back i can copy the update method name and here i'll simply say set archive with the proper spelling so the body will be requiring certain things first of all it will be a put request and here i can copy the entire body paste it here now here we will be requiring a different parameter which will be the task is archived so here i'll say uh, i want to uh, uh, archive a particular task so here i'll say uh, let's fetch the task here so let's say task number 16 should be archived one so i'll simply say the task id of 16 and send a request right so you can see that it is updated now now if i fetch archive task i should be getting the 16 one to be archived one we can also unarchive them so if i simply say a false and if i send a request and if i fetch archive task it will be gone right so we have created a method of set task to be easy so we have completed all the required methods for now congratulations if you have completed all the following skills at this point because this thing is too hard for every beginner and you have made it now 
we will be uh, taking a look over with the task status option in the next tutorial because it will be quite complicated so till then make sure you have completed the following tutorial at this point and i'll see you in the next one